What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In the shop, we got a buddy of mine's 2016 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.7. I'm gonna make a, a couple of videos for you. It needs a bit of work, so I'm gonna go over front brakes, back brakes, wheel bearing, and outer tie rod. Pretty straightforward stuff, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it step by step. This video in particular is pertaining to back brakes. <laughs> start by setting it up on the hoist and ripping our wheel off. All right, so we're here in the left rear corner of this truck. We have our wheel off and we are gonna start by depressing the brake caliper. So you can do that with a pry bar going through the hole here on the side and just depressing it back. I've already gone ahead to do that. Now why I did this before was to confirm that my caliper does in fact float. If it doesn't, then you need calipers, which is a whole other story and not in this video. Today, we're doing pads and rotors on the back of this 2016 Ram. So, you have two 10 millimeter head bolts that hold on the caliper, take those off. Take those out, put them aside. Now, the caliper is free. This caliper is light, so uh, I would be confident in just letting this hang. Sometimes some heavier calipers, you want to suspend them and support them from something so it's not resting on this. But again, this is really light. I wouldn't be concerned. So once you get our caliper off, we got to hammer out our old pads from the holder. One. Two. We don't need them anymore. Next up, you want to get your caliper out of the way. Next up, uh, 21 millimeter head bolts. I'm using a flex socket. You can use a ratchet. Let's take off our caliper holder. All right. Now we got those off, put our bolts aside. This is going to be removed, cleaned, and reassembled. In the meantime, we're gonna take a rotor off. Sometimes the rotors can be stubborn, so uh, I like to hit it here, because that's usually where it's seized. Actually, that is where it's seized, uh, as opposed to, uh, you know, here. Sometimes I've, I've broken rotors, actually, where the ring will break and the top hat will stay, and then it becomes a real fight. So let's try it out. Okay, no luck. All right, so because we got a little stubborn unit on us here, we're gonna need some heat. Um, basically, I'm gonna apply the heat right here, because chances are that's where it sees. Uh, usually just with heat. Winner, Genyo. All right. All right, so uh, we had a park brake shoe. We only had one park brake shoe. Now we have no park brake shoes because this one be glazed. So we might be in for an adventure, but I don't think he wants to do it. So uh, we're gonna continue as is. Next step, what you're gonna wanna do, all right, is clean the hub face for your new rotor. Primarily what you want to do is just get the heavy stuff off. You want to put a ring of uh, lube here. So hopefully you don't get stuck again. Get our new rotor. And put it on top of that. And now it's time to clean and service our caliper. Now we want to get our lubricant. Dress our shims. Sorry about the compressor noise. I guess it's part of the job. We want to put our bolts with our Loctite that holds the caliper holder in place. So tighten it up. You always want to finish by hand. Okay, next, you want to get your new brake pads. You want to put some lube on the tabs. and on the back. Slide them in, 
in reverse order of kind of how you remove it. Basically, it just slides outwards. Sometimes tolerances can be a little tight. She's in. Make sure that it clears. The brake pad goes on the inside of the shim. And you're good to go. Other pad the same on the inside. You kind of got to do them at the same time because there's the tabs that the caliper bolts do. Not a big deal. Now I'm not using the hammer to bang it, okay? I'm not using the hammer to bang this these pads in. You never want to do that. You always want them to fall in so they can float nicely after. I've talked about it in my other videos. You want pads to float. What that means is when you apply the brake and the pads are meeting the rotor, that's great. That's why you need to stop. But when you release, they can't be stuck so super applied. Yes, they're going to be virtually touching, but you don't want them applied tight, tight. You want them to have the ability to retract a fraction of a millimeter so that they're not dragging and causing premature wear. All right, next up, grab your caliper again. And I'm sure you've seen this tool in my other videos, but it's great for retracting calipers. So go ahead and uh, I mean, any way you like, Go ahead and retract the calipers. All right, now that those are in all the way, let's do a visual. Make sure your boot is sitting in all the way properly, all the way around. You don't want it to pinch. Okay, and as we're good, I'm gonna make sure that these float around nice as well and slide your caliper back on. Now, if you notice, they're meant to go kind of one way. There's a tab at the bottom. On the left side, at the bottom, there's a tab that's supposed to go inside on the inside. Hold on a second. You gotta get this guy out of your way first. Make sure they're pushed back. Okay, and you gotta slip the inside of the rotor on, or inside of the caliper on rather, first. So it can, that little lip can sit behind between the caliper holder brace and, and, and I guess where the pad rides and then hit the top. Now, this is for the left rear, the right rear is opposite. It's gotta go up on the top and rest on the bottom, okay? But that's how you gotta slip that in. Now let's go ahead and we'll put our bolts back in. Got some Loctite on our bolts here. Again, make sure everything is started by hand. You don't want to create any surprises for yourself. And get your ratchet. And again, finish by hand. So you get a good feel for it. Everything's good, everything moves. Nice new braking system. All right guys, that is pretty much straightforward. Like you saw, I had a hurdle on my hands with uh, the rotor not coming off properly. But, you know, I'm sure you're gonna have a similar problem. That's how I dealt with it. If you don't have heat, what I recommend is you soak it in penetrant and let it sit, spray in, the, in the, the holes of the studs, let it creep down, and then give her some good hits. Uh, there's only uh, one way to do it, and that's with force, unfortunately. So, you know, again, it's a straightforward job. Don't forget when you're done this, like every other brake job, pump your brake pedal, all right? Um, but, uh, you know, not much to it guys, so I hope you learned something. For the other side, it's the same thing in reverse order. Like I said, remember on the other side, the caliper goes up first and then closes on the bottom. Again, that's the only difference, but it's the same left to right. So uh, I hope you have the confidence to tackle this on your own. 
Don't forget, like, subscribe, and always full throttle.